Today's video was prompted by this meme, insinuating that the moon landing was a conspiracy because the president wouldn't be able to radio to the moon. I always like to answer questions that regular, everyday people ask about radio to help regular people better understand radio. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire. The reason you can send radio signals to space, but not five or ten miles across the land on Earth, is because space is empty. There is nothing in the way of a radio signal in space. Here on Earth, we have to contend with trees and buildings and even the curvature of the Earth. We're going to get into what frequencies NASA uses in a minute, but let's say we took NASA's exact VHF frequency and ran that on the Earth between two walkie-talkies. Um, I'm only going to be able to go about six miles, you know, my antenna elevated off the ground, going across, hitting trees and buildings and stuff. This is why you see radio towers really, really high. We want them high up to blanket areas around us. Radio signals get absorbed. VHF and UHF radio signals are absorbed by the environment around it. In space, they travel freely. Radio signals in space can almost travel indefinitely. So if you took your radio and you had a directional antenna or something, you fired it off in the space, it could 100% reach the moon. This is not an implausible thing that they achieved. Now, I'm not going to get into whether we actually went to the moon or not. I'm going to stay in my realm and in my space and talk just about how you would get radio out there. NASA used a VHF band to get to the moon, which makes sense. That is something that I would do if they were like, John, we need to get a radio signal to space. What would you use? And from what I've looked at and what they did, this is exactly how you would accomplish this. They used a VHF band and they used single sideband to do so. Now, why would you use a VHF and not an HF? Because HF can go really far around Earth. Now, if you're trying to break Earth's atmosphere, you are going to want to use a VHF or a UHF band. Hams do this all the time with little Baofeng radio. Now, there's a bigger Baofeng radio, but little Baofengs like the UV-5R or whatever, people transmit to the international space stations all the time and, and ham radio satellites all the time with little dinky handhelds. VHF and UHF can break through the atmosphere and keep going up and out into space. If you used HF lower in this chart, what you start to get is propagation, skywave propagation. So HF bands bounce off the ionosphere and come back down, and this gives you really, really good worldwide or nationwide you know, radio coverage if that's what you are trying to accomplish. Your cell phone operates here on the radio band chart, if you will. And this is a higher frequency and it gives the cell phone companies and cell phone towers the ability to have better reliable coverage bubbles, if you will, around the radio towers. So if I had a radio tower, I wouldn't want to use HF because I don't want my signal going all over the place and just being random. I need it to provide coverage per area. And then I'm going to stick those little towers all over the place to provide good coverage. So again, NASA having radio communications back and forth from moon to earth entirely plausible and I think as a ham radio operator it is 100% doable and this is not a conspiracy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.